What is up, dudes? How are y'all doing? And, uh, welcome back to Tactical Adventure Galaxy Fraulein Yuna. It's, uh, it's been a little bit of a minute. Uh, my apologies for any missed streams or delayed streams. It's been a bit of a hectic week. But nonetheless, hopefully everybody is doing well. Hopefully everybody is having a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for being here. Really freaking appreciate it. And, uh, we're currently in the middle of a uh, showdown between one of the generals of the evil empress who stuck a bomb the size of Tokyo inside of Earth. And after we uh, chased after it into space, we probably forgot about it. And as such, we are now in a dance competition to prove our superior pop idleness. And also, we're trying to save our kidnapped friends from some kind of super fortress, which I'm pretty sure we're in the middle of now. <laughs> but hopefully everybody's doing well. Welcome on in. Loin, um, Prez, and Adrian, how's it going? And Deadtail, how's it going? Dude, Slaughter Trooper Veil's new track is 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 a beast. It it is so good. Like it's one of those few moments that really makes me go, yeah, that that goes really freaking hard. Uh let's do a little bit of a warm-up training round. Also making good progress on your Dark Souls remaster run. Nice. What part are you at now? Uh let's go with super strong. It's like Demolisher 2.0, but in the best way. A little bit, yeah. I <laughs> gotta go deal with the Four Kings. Oh boy. That was one of the only boss fights in Dark Souls 1 that I really dislike. I don't know exactly what it was about that fight, but it really got under my skin. Like, pretty much non-stop. Uh, who am I missing in this? Well, let's go with 4,000 years of uh, Chinese history. Hey, Geki, how's it going? Been lazy this week with work, but I'm heading to a free convention in a couple of minutes. Nice, what kind of convention? And hey, NabNab, how's it going? My work has been uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty hectic over the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's starting to kind of take a little bit of a toll. It's nothing I can't manage, but it, it is a lot. <laughs> the only downside was that it really left me in a very sour mood yesterday, and I really kind of figured to myself, like, oh, if I'm going to stream now, I'm not going to be pleasant company. Just a general comic geek con hosted by a public library. I know a guy uh, there who's running a Digimon trading card game workshop. Nice. I've been uh, looking into uh, potentially trying out a new card game. But I think I'll uh, stick to Arkham Horror. It's a little bit more like a... Uh, like a cooperative experience. Uh, let's see. We did have the Mirage Cannon. AKA to destroy everything button. I'll take it. Mm. 
gotta get a game going at some point. Oh, please do let me know what you think of it. It is one of my favorite board games. Together with uh, Twilight Imperium. Check on some audio levels real quick. Um, let's just go with a uh, standard attack here. Oh, that would be cool. I uh, I'm really excited for a new campaign. I still need to get my hands on uh, the um, what was it called? Um, the Scarlet Keys at some point. Uh, but the last one uh, that we played was uh, Edge something. Hang on. I have made a document that documents and categorizes, catalogs the shit that I still need to get. Um, Edge of the Earth. There you go. Which is based on um, the uh, the short story at the Mountains of Madness. Uh, don't have a group readily available for it, but I know there's a big selection of board games there. Well, Arkham um, can be played solo. It's uh, it's a little bit on the difficult side when you do. <laughs> uh, because, like, your options are just so severely lessened. Uh, but it should be pretty easy to set up at least a base game uh, as, a, uh, as a solo walkthrough. Immediately levels up. That's level 18, I think. But yeah, we got the uh, the base game, the Dream Eater Cycle, uh, as a complete campaign. Uh, we're currently uh, collecting the uh, the blisters for. Insmith Conspiracy before they go, because we already got the first two. And beyond that, we just got a bunch of like extra player cards to toy around with and make some uh, pretty nifty investigator decks. Edge of the Earth also has one of the most versatile uh, investigators out there. That's largely based on uh, campaign progressing. Like she gets a, a buff for one of her stats every amount of experience. So say you get like 15 experience points throughout one of the uh, scenarios that you're playing, you get to pick another buff that you can use. So she gets ridiculous statistics at some point. Like on average you hit maybe with like uh like if you have you have like four sets you have investigation fight um sanity and intelligence i think from the top of my head no sanity is one of the health pools it was ah, fuck what were they called either way you have four of them and you can boost uh with her you can boost them with specific cards and uh, with uh, the investigator um, she can where you can normally get like a plus two on say like an attack roll for instance you can get like a plus eight or plus nine that basically guarantees that you hit no matter what 
The only downside is like a couple of rounds after that, I got completely blind blindsided by uh, the fact that I didn't need to attack anything. I needed to investigate everything and I didn't have anything built for that. <laughs> So the game is really good at keeping you on your toes, and I just just generally really freaking like it. Hey, Brickleborg, how's it going? Uh, I know how my friend group goes. We uh, will spend hours learning it, uh, learning it, played once or twice, and never play it again. That's that's me as well with a lot of. Uh, a lot of board games in general, but with Arkham Horror, um, it, that's kind of the game that got me and Gypsy to get into board games and also got us through when we got COVID because it took a pretty long time for both of us to recover from that. And it is a pretty neat tactics RPG. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's pretty goofy. I'm doing pretty good. Enjoying the weekend. Glad to hear you're doing well. Snag that experience right there. Uh, let's move her out of the way, see if we can get that do to move to a more central position. I'm already a lot stronger than I probably should be, so moles the fist is just extra. Game expects you to hit like level 15 around here. We're level 21. The uh, the trading card game, uh, the not the trading card game, the living card game, Moxie. Woof! That is a a substantial hit, my guy. The board game card game, exactly. Made out of pure steel. I mean, it's very dependent on what you pull out of the bag with how your experience is going to go. So I, I understand that frustration. It's, it's very random, like no strategy will go unpunished. Yeah, that is true. It is a, a very pricey game, uh, especially if you consider that in the old format, like right now, it's it's not so bad. In, I'm, I'm saying it's not so bad, but it's still pretty bad. Like generally, Fantasy Flight is rather costly. Um, but in their previous format, they had like monthly releases, like parts of a scenario as as blisters and like every eight or ten blisters you'd get a full that would be the full campaign and they recently changed that to campaign boxes and investigator expansions and that saves about 70 bucks per campaign but it's still like 70 bucks for the 
campaign itself and another 50 for the investigators. So you're still looking at like 120 per uh, per full expansion. So in that regard, it's insanely expensive. Not as not as bad as that Marvel card game, though. That one is really stupidly expensive. We got it as a prize in some tourney uh, he was in, so we're going to check it out. Yeah, do let me know how that goes, man. Really hope you have a lot of fun with it. That is a Beyblade character, and you cannot convince me otherwise. That is a first generation Beyblade character for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a Beyblade character for sure. Or some some random beta man creation. <laughs> Will you now? Are you are you sure about that? Cause cause I I am not. Like, I'm not, not quite sure if this is a good idea for you. If this is, like, the right strategy. Maybe you need a little bit more time to cook. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so it's only Yuna that needs to be protected. Oh yeah, for sure, Moxie. I, I, I am not excusing the price at all. Uh, like, it is my favorite board game, but I'm well aware that it, it fetches an exorbitant price to get started with it. Uh, I think I can get away with this. Uh, yeah, Arkham Horror, the, uh, the living card game. Like, in a sense, it would be easier uh, to, to have, like, the, the 20 buck uh, a pop expansions uh, releasing on a monthly cycle, but the counterpart to that is that if you buy everything in retrospect, you're becoming much more aware of the price. <laughs> of everything. <laughs> like if they would do something like Root, for instance, where they digitize that as a board game, that would be fantastic. Like, digital board games are a fantastic way to, like, experience a lot of them for a lesser amount. Mm, can I Psychic Pebble him? Still need to buy a physical copy of Root. Still need to buy the other expansions.
Yeah, the living card game would be perfect for it. Oh boy. My voice is already cracking up. <laughs> My allergies have been going into overdrive for the past few days. It's been, been uh, a little bit of an experience. Uh, yes, it's a board game based around H.P. Lovecraft. Also, Fantasy Flight, if you're listening, don't be a coward. Made the blob who investigated everything an actual character deck. Please. Okay, so the game expected you to be level 14 here. <laughs> Time for orbital bombardments. And it worked. Nice. I'll take it. that a lot of the status ailments would be a little bit more clear uh, as to what they would actually do. She just pulls out a gun. That that works too. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck in cables. Chat sent help. Also, we, uh... We have a new emote. In case you want to make somebody's day just a little bit brighter. All of the expansions for the card game are uh, one to four players. Shoot your friends to get to the enemy. a lot of damage in a very short amount of time.
I think the issue was they basically didn't have enough cards to do more than two. Uh, no, that's the revised version does. The revised version is one to four players, but the original version for the base game for Arkham Horror is, um, as you said, like based around two players. It's just that the um, you can't really deviate from the investigators in the uh, in the core set if you want to uh, want to get the most out of it, which is a shame. Thomas, how's it going, dude? How's it going, dude? Uh. We're making some pretty good progress here. Um, okay, so there's only one hallway, I guess, at the end of this. Uh, or not. We'll just move into the center here. Oh, okay. Hey, got our cart. Nice. How so? If I may ask. Why I was slippery and in the process of trying to catch my balance, somehow managed to take out an entire door frame. How? <laughs> I mean, it sucks, but how the hell did you manage to get that done? Sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully not any lasting injuries, though. Ayako was one of the villains of the, um, the first game, if I recall correctly. 
There you go. This is most certainly a trap. The top tried to bash my head in, but I managed to catch my balance just in time to avoid that. Oh no. It's like a proper Wily e. Coyote moment. You just roadrunnered yourself. Jesus Christ, man. Glad you're alright, though. This is gonna go well. This is gonna go very well. Deku, how's it going? Of trust issues right now. They made a very big deal out of her dying in the in the first game. Bring out your dead. Her heart is now a husk. designs man it's like somewhere between sakura wars and shaman king i love it <laughs> we should definitely play the shaman king rpg by the way we should definitely play that game i think spirit of power is what it's called well you got a you got a bunch you got like uh the GBA games. Yeah. Yeah, Power of Spirit. That's the one. Which I think is also a uh, an SRPG. I have it somewhere. It's such a specific lost aesthetic. Yes, it is. And the world is a lot more hollow for it.
Oh, right, these are the other two sisters. I am not quite sure if what is going on here. I think that is supposed to be the back of her head. But it looks like an onion and a butt. Gonna bullshit Ayako back to life. That feel when your root vegetables become sentient. Hey, well, howdy, partner. How's it going? I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. <laughs> It's very much a lost aesthetic, though. Like it, it, it's really is a shame that that they stopped doing this. I feel like there was just a lot of heart in the way that uh, characters could be like super over exaggerated in their wardrobes, and it would just make sense. Dramatic music. Did you hurt your back? I'm very excited to see how much damage this is going to do. Hmm. Not too much, unfortunately. Oh, that is adorable. That is adorable. Go play Live Alive, everyone. It's a very good video game. I do need that. Somebody send me a uh, cute plush, please.
Gotta appreciate how dramatic the music is. Seems like it's part of the pamphlet for the Live Alive concert in August, so it'll either be there or sometime after the concert. I'm really hoping that uh, Square Enix Europe is going to pick up a lot more of the slack when it comes to merch. Because the European side of the, uh, the merchandise store is abysmal. Just so bad. We get a bunch of socks and that's it. Let me see if there is some Live Alive merch. It's not even listed. How dare. Here's Babylon's Fall merch, though. <laughs> if you want that. Wait, what? they get rid of the CDs and music and stuff like that? What? Roll up. Oh jeez, I, I don't think I have ever seen a more unpleasant thing to navigate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Square, please hire a web designer who actually knows what the fuck they're doing. For the love of God. Like, if you're just clicking around on this, there's... This is so bad. <laughs> It was partly thanks to the stream um, that I picked up a copy of Live Alive on Switch. Hey, nice. Hopefully you're enjoying it, man. Nice. I'll take it. curious what the hell they have for Babylon's Fall and why it's still listed. Um, oh, it's the music. Gotcha. surprised uh, that Square Enix is still taking the effort to um, release things like Star Ocean. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm very happy that they do, but like, it's really surprising in that Star Ocean 6 didn't meet expectations. And I, I, I wonder why. Wonder if it has something to do with the potential that they never gave Tri Ace the budget to fully realize that game, but that's just me. But so far, uh, Star Ocean 
is looking absolutely phenomenal. I'm, I'm very excited for the remaster of uh, Star Ocean 2. Uh, Star Ocean 6 looked decent, but after Star Ocean 4 or 5 landed with a thud, I'm not surprised Fewer gave it a chance. Oh! <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah. Don't think that did what they anticipated it doing, but... Oops. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's no problem. Still trust issues, but I'm interested to see how Star Ocean 2 turns out. Like, I'm, I'm personally not really, like, that conflicted about Star Ocean uh, as most people are. Partially because I, I really enjoyed 5 and 6. Especially 6. It was really a lot of fun. Um, but it doesn't really surprise me that people decided sort of like against giving Star Ocean another chance after uh, the whole spiel with uh, Star Ocean 5 just being incredibly disappointing for a lot of people. Like, I'm not ex saying that I didn't expect more from Star Ocean 5, but like, what we got was pleasant enough that I didn't really care that much. Oh my god. That was a monstrous amount of damage. That as well, but... Wait, I don't need to. Uh, I can just go like this. Try and spread everybody around a little bit. Hey, the Live Alive soundtrack is back up. Oh, I guess we... One. Okay. I just needed to kill one of them. Got it. I'd be 30 minutes late for the con, but I was uh, still waking up and needed food slash coffee before driving out. And safe travels and enjoy your con. Surprisingly made it out all right. <laughs> Do post any good finds on the Discord.
Where did she go, though? There wasn't really any place that she could have gone. smart oh boy uh, let's start with red Okay, another training room. Also, chat, we're getting super close to both 5k followers and a hundred subs. Thank you all so much for the support. Really freaking appreciate it. Oh, wait, that leads back. Gotcha. Missing something? I feel like I am. Training floor again? Yeah. I also want to tell you guys about probably one of the cutest things my dog has ever done, or at least so far. He's probably going to do a lot of cute things. He is pretty cute. So I was playing around with him. I was like, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? And he just sat down, looked straight at me and put his paw on my shoulder. <laughs> it's like, it's not me. It's you. <laughs> You're the good boy. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this creature, it's so wholesome. I love it so much. I 
I'm assuming you mean dot hack gu. Um, I will admit the scoring on dot hack is a bit biased. Um, I'm I've been a huge fan of the series pretty much since the uh, since they started it. Um, but what I really like about it is that it it's despite its premise feeling a little overdone in retrospect it does it in such an emotionally charged way that you're constantly invested in it oh, like the voice acting is fantastic the character portrayal is fantastic uh, the entire arc that the main character goes through is fantastic it's kind of similar to I don't know if you play Tales of the Abyss but it's kind of a similar situation as uh, was with Luke in uh, Tills, where the main character is kind of an eyesore at the start of the game. It's just a bunch of fake stuff made by slapping textures on top of polygons. And also that. It's very quotable. Hasio likes to yell Ovan a lot. But it's very easy to get into, especially in comparison to Imok, which is the original quadrilogy. Um, the presentation is stunning. The music is stunning. I love the world building in the Dot Hack series. And I uh, cried like four times. Should I refresh myself in the anime before I play it? No need. I didn't watch Root uh, until after I played GU. Like to give you an idea on how much I like Dot Hack GU, just just gonna give you an idea, right? Not even gonna try to sell you on it, just giving you an idea on how biased I am. One of my favorite characters is part of my branding. <laughs> Actually, I need to get the volume back. There you go. What do I do here? <laughs> I am super confused. I'd say the only downside, I, I will admit that the, the, that the major downside to uh, the game is that it's not the most challenging. Like at a certain point, you're mostly just riding along for the story because combat becomes such an obsolete thing. Like you just don't have to bother with it. It's it becomes so easy. Whereas in contrast to, say, uh, Imok, you actually have to, like, figure out different strategies for different dungeon types. With this, you can just brute force and overlevel really rapidly at that. So don't go in it expecting a massive challenge of an extra RPG. It starts out that way, but... You can quickly overlevel if you even do like one or two side quests. But if I if I have to give it like a proper description, it, it is an RPG that is about um, people uh, going into comas in a virtual world. Like it's it's kind of the OG of that staple. Um, and. You are a, a very spiteful individual that uh, tries to wreak as much havoc uh, as you can upon the game in order to find a uh, 
person you hold responsible for putting one of your friends into a coma. And it's from from that point, like from that premise, it it makes the online world feel incredibly alive in in a way that pretty much only dot hack can do. Like in the way that it presents itself, like you have to log into the game from like a faux desktop and stuff like that. It's very charming. It's very cool. So where the hell do I go? Pretty sure I checked every room here. Gu hands you a gun. Yeah, pretty much. I still remember um, going back from Gu to Imhok and forgetting that random enemies can have the assassinate trait, which just means that if they hit you, there is like a 16% chance that you just die. <laughs> So at, from the start of the game, I didn't really save because I was like, oh, well, I can just make it through here. No problem. And then I lost like three, four hours of progress because I got assassinated. Yeah, you can like browse fictitious forums, watch like a podcast show uh, about the events that are taking place in the game and how they affect the real world. I really liked uh, Liminality for that as well in the uh, original series. Like Liminality had the tendency to uh, fill in some gaps that you didn't know uh, were there. I get the feeling like I'm constantly getting put back to the same spot over and over again. Huh. Can somebody check if there's a walkthrough available for this part? I really like that you could just watch like parts of that podcast show throughout the game to kind of add a little bit to the story. I think it was called like Online Jack or something like that. And it would just kind of add like little layers to the story and it, it very much felt like you're you were web sleuthing. Like you were sleuthing through information to kind of piece together what is actually going on. And meanwhile, this this sort of highly fantastical story uh, plays out in front of you as one of the most grounded things possible. And then the game made me cry like a bitch. Like I like full on waterfalls and boogers. And then it did it again when I heard the English dub. Because, <laughs> good lord. Hasio's speech towards Ovan still stands as one of the best bits of voice acting in PS2 gaming. As well as uh, the the boys don't cry scene is just ah uh, I am due for a replay. I need to be emotionally devastated by video games again. I still need to play the Switch version. We still need to check that out. Might play that soon. Where do I need to go with this? Like honestly, I have no idea.
it genuinely feels like I'm locked in, in some kind of loop or some shit. that I need to go to it, it says purple so maybe I need to go there no it's just a hmm just a bunch of fake stuff The only thing I really missed from GU was the grunty, uh, the grunty farm. Oh, Monami! I've become a fine gentleman because of you, Monami! Proceed to the color of your liking. Yeah, but it doesn't work. What if I, I, I don't like any of the colors presented here? I have a folder of sound bites that is literally just Hasio screaming at things. It's great. It's like 40 minutes worth of sound bites. Okay, video game, but where do I go? It's so good, isn't it? <laughs> Puyo Puyo has a lot of those on um, the Saturn releases. It's really good as well. it up real quick see if there is because from what I remember most of the uh, walkthroughs are just completely abandoned let's see uh... okay so oh it's a specific order how would you know that First, this one. Oh, because it teleports you back to the same room. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, that explains. Yeah, I found one obscure walkthrough that is very poorly written. But I'll take it. <laughs> there we go.
込まれたものと同じテンフォーやっぱりここが発射ポイントだったのね。天砲を制御するコンピューターも必ず近くにあるはず探しましょう What was that walkthrough? What a very obscure game you were playing where it was written in very bad English? Um... No Did we beat that game? I think we did Say Vampire Hunter D, but I'm not sure. Or wasn't it spy fiction? Was a horror game,、um, Hell Knight? If not, it's probably Side Girls that you're thinking of. That reminds me. I've been keeping an eye on that for a while, but. It's still really bizarre that they made a、uh, video game in the MGS2 engine that's pretty damn. Competent at what it does based off a、um, spin off from like the Barbie dolls. It's really weird. <laughs> I still want to look into the history of that because, man, <laughs> the Side Girls was a lot of fun. Like、that game is really goofy and super over the top. Oh, that's sick, Loin. That's real cool. Open door, got it. That is some design. That is some season two Digimon stuff right there. この移動要塞、天才を収めるのです。This would be the fourth, I think. She's gonna sit in that chair, and the chair is gonna move backwards. あれは。でもそんなことを知っても無駄なことです。あなたたちは。ここで死ぬのですかさあ、あやここいつらを倒して、機械化帝国へ帰るのかお姉さんやめてあやこちゃん、思い出してあたしのこ
のみんなのこと楽しかったこと私あやこちゃんとは戦いたくないせっかく会えたんだもん笑っていたい喜んでいたいだってあやこちゃんとは友達だもん Stop her, Ayako. Right now. Saved by the power of friendship. The power of friendship even cures death. How about that, chat? Remember dying. It was a koala. It was smiling. What does it know? Oh. Just immediately dies again. <laughs> あとでもう一度洗脳し直さなくては。やっぱり、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、Do do do. Gentle Shiori is about to get ready for the most gentle of warfare. Do 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 do. Okay,、uh, can we immediately start gunning these dudes down? I think we can. Uh, yeah, that should kill. At least I think it does. Uh, let's move over there. Action, rev up. Tech Mirage Cannon. This will give me an idea as well as to how strong everything is. I'll take it. Now it's clear the entire map in half a move. This should kill. At least the crit rate is higher because I'm attacking from the rear. There you go. 
I'll take it. Pumpkin's arrow. Nice. Very nice damage. Okay, doesn't really have anything. Can't reach, so I'm gonna send you over there. At least buff yourself, get the extra experience and the attack uh, and the extra attack power. HP. It's not a lot. Of, not a whole lot, though. It's not a whole lot. <laughs> I'm okay with it, but it's it's not a whole lot of HP. Oh crap! I forgot about that. How much damage is that gonna be? I'll take it. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Jesus. Oh. That is a whole lot of damage. the output uh, to the maximum. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, I think it might be better if I just start attacking. Nice. Get all nice and healed up. Let's get some areola extract in there. Should give me a hundred back as well. Move it to the back a little. Move my forward. Summon a temporary boyfriend. Fork? Oh, it's a car. Nice, good distraction. Okay, this might be enough. It might be enough. Please crit. Ah, just a normal hit. 55? Oh, that is cool art. Okay, uh, this is an acceptable arrangement. I'm okay with this.
All right, Shiori, be gentle with her. That's some nice damage. All right, uh, I don't think we can do much with her here. Just in case, just Jumbo Parfait. Let's get that extra HP in. Might help a little. Because why not? Why not do that twice in a single fight? That that was a lot of damage. <laughs> Okay, so destruction rate is the amount of enemies. Okay, so I wasn't meant to kill the other ones. I wonder if you can get like 110% if you kill them fast enough. I need some flex tape for that kind of damage. <laughs> How's it going, Hugs Lot? Yuna probably forgot about the bomb stuck in Earth. That's some good tech support right there. Just, just turn it off permanently. No, not Lavos. That's a bomb. Uh-oh. And she's off. Nobody uses the chair. Such a waste of good chair. Nobody was like, I'm going to sit in this chair and just zip line on out of there. Oh, this one's going to be brainwashed as well, isn't he? <laughs> Swole Mega Man. <laughs> 
なこそよくぞご無事であの人がジンミーさんかねえマイちゃん礼儀正しくて素敵な人だと思わないあんた調子に乗って失礼なこと言うんじゃないわよ恥じかくのは担任のあたしなんだから返しはしないま,まだ生きてたの I absolutely love the way that certain dialogue bits are presented here あなたごときには負けませんシロコまだそんなたわごとシレーンお<laughs> That's not how you put somebody to sleep. <laughs> oh, you just murdered somebody in cold blood. So cool. <laughs> Please use that singular brain cell for food. Hey, Tesseract, how's it going? Speaking in uh, ye old galactic English. It's going pretty well. We had a、uh, bit of a.、Uh, Convoluted part earlier,、uh, but other than that, it's been、uh, it's been a fantastic ride. I'm absolutely adoring the presentation here. I wonder who did the animation for it though. I just realized how much of a Namek situation this is. <laughs> Good lord. They were like, oh yeah, the, the, this thing is gonna explode in like five minutes. We need to hurry. We spent like months in space now. And it only just got slightly dug itself a hole. Like、the soundtrack of this game.
It's going to be chapter end, isn't it? There it is. There it is. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. This game is so anime, it hurts. Also, I'm going to take a very short break and get myself some tea, so I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, chat. See you all in just a bit. And I'm back. I, uh... I had to cuddle with the dog for a bit, so not making excuses. I'm just telling you guys how it is. <laughs> All right, let's see if there are some new items that we can uh, pick up. God, I love the character design in this game so much. Ooh, 300 HP. Let's go. <laughs> oh no, video game. What are you doing? I'm not letting my dog eat cake. Cake is bad for a dog. But he does get a lot of treats. He gets a lot of... He gets a lot of cuddles. I wonder what turtle cola tastes like. Uh, chicken. I don't know what turtle cola tastes like. Okay, we got two options. We can go back or we can go forward to outer space. Let's go forward. to lie down a little longer. You need to recover from being dead for most of the franchise. Boggin gauze. <laughs> what the hell game? I really notice it with a, a lot of uh, like mid to late '90s games. They have a lot of those uh, those those things in there, like Pepsi or something like that, and it's just Popsy or something like that. It's called ice cream, Ayako. <laughs> what did you expect? For 
for brain freeze, you need to have a brain, and these characters do not. <laughs> something to do with forum brands my, my favorite one is still changing sony to bony that that that's still the the, the, the bony bark man or something like that i i can't remember it was a visual novel that i played they they, they had some really outlandish stuff in there the bony <laughs> At any cost. This is the first time I've been Oh, that is a good face. That is a very good face. I'm taking that face and putting it into a good face. This is a very good face. Three wise men. You <laughs> sure are dumb. <laughs> I don't think the, any of these people understand the concept of urgency. You know what I wonder? I wonder if Shinzo ever got a game made out of it. I, I'd be very curious to see if, if that show, that like obscure little ass show, got some extended media out of it. This style of coloring and such reminds me a lot of uh, Inuyasha. Like that era. With Inuyasha. Yu Yu Hakusho. That's a shame, because the anime was a lot of fun. I think Shinzo was next to Mobile Suit Gundam Wing was like my first uh, on television 
uh, experience with anime. Like before that, it was like Ninja Scroll and a bunch of VHS stuff. Loin. Loin. Stop it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five subs, dude. Really freaking appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. God, we're in a room. You guys are really just, just killing it. Thank you so much. Gonna get some Kevin's and Richards in chat, please. An Azilla, Null Vortex, Reversal, Floco, Sailor Peter, and Sutra. I do enjoy your emotes. Thank you so much, Loin. Really freaking appreciate it. Can I get some Kevin's and Richards in chat, please? Thank you. That puts us within 19 of 100. That is crazy. Thank you all so much. I need to rewatch Bubblegum Crisis. It's been a very long time. I remember the first anime I saw was probably a uh, DBC or Pokemon. For me, it was a coin toss between Mobile Suit Gundam and Shinzo. Then we got Shin-Chan, uh, Pokemon, Digimon, Dragon Ball Z, uh, and uh, the best friend of my father was an avid fan of anime, so he bought a lot of like VHS stuff. Uh, Sailor Moon as well, Card Captor Sakura, uh, Moncali Knights, it's also up there. Um, so I got some pretty early exposure into like Akira, um, like Ninja Scroll was was one that was like pretty vivid, because <laughs> obviously, Fist of North Star as well, um, and a lot of like that that eighties. It's it's partially where my, a lot of my love for like that eighties. 90s sci-fi anime aesthetic comes from. <laughs> and of course, a couple of the Ghibli movies. Though I was wasn't really like into them until much later. I think until I watched like Spirited Away and My Neighbor Totoro. How's it going, Carpe Diem? <laughs> Wait, I I think I have seen this. No, I've read this. Escaflon, visions of Escaflon. I, I don't know if I've ever fully watched all of that. I had a couple of figures of it, like little action figures, I think, before like Gumpla became popular. Spooky hand. <laughs> Time to do re brainwash Ayako.
Something's wrong. <laughs> and binge all of Inuyasha, she just break out into the theme song and the drop of a penny. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's okay. They can breathe in space. That was a clock tower noise. Good lord. This is fine. You're in the hamster ball now, Ayako. <laughs> now that's a proper speed run. This is like one of the last ones. I think we had about four or five. Oh, that didn't account for that. Apparently there's an OVA for this as well. Of course it's a warp point. Makes sense. Are we doing the fighting? Okay, so she is not allowed to reach that brain. That's no problem. Uh, I got like two teleporters in here. Do, 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 do. Wow. Now, how's the streaming been going, Thomas? Okay, do me a favor and link up your channel in the in the chat, please. Mission start. I wonder if there's gonna be like a situation like we had with From Mission. I think it was. where some boss is trying to reach an objective and just gets gunned down on the way there. Hey, Gigaboots, thank you so much for the raid. Really freaking appreciate it. Welcome on in, raiders. My name is Gil. We're playing some Galaxy Foiline Yuna, final edition. And we're trying to prevent our friend who is being trapped in a hamster ball from getting kidnapped into a parallel dimension. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hopefully everybody's doing well, hopefully everybody enjoying their time over at Gigaboots. If you guys aren't following Gigaboots yet, please go do so. They are a fantastic bunch that do very long streams. 18 hours today, if I'm not mistaken. They're currently going through uh, all of the Super Mario RPGs, and it's been a hell of a lot of fun to catch that. So please do go check them out. Rank up! Dotland dance, Jack Note dance, retro e dance, Ryan Av dance, Dotland dance, Jack Note dance, retro e dance, Ryan Av dance, Dotland dance, Jack Note dance, retro e dance, Ryan Av dance, Dotland. I I I fully agree. I fully agree. And Gigaboots, thank you so much for 41 months of support. Really freaking appreciate it. Can I get some Gavis Richards in chat, please? Has it been four years already? God damn. Time really flies, man. And Sarah Lean, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And how's it going? Great, time to... If we're for all the treats, I I just gave him some belly rubs and some pets and some cuddles. 
and he's gonna get some food soon. So, no treats yet. <laughs> How's it going, Common? This might be a land all solution, just bombard everything on screen. Jesus. <laughs> when did that move level up? That is so much damage. Okay, these are definitely sturdier. No, it's not sturdy. Your health bar. It's about to go down real quick. <laughs> In theory, be able to just smack through my friend here with 4,000 years of Chinese history straight to the face. Yeah, she's not going to reach that. <laughs> uh, like last orb, I forgot that that was a circular, well, square attack. Also, for those who haven't seen this game yet, uh, this is technically the third installment in the Galaxy Foiline Yuna series, uh, which follows an intergalactic pop idol on her adventures to become a magical girl. And the, uh, the extended version, Final Edition, uh, which is the extended version of the third installment, is a fantastically quirky action RPG. Um, that you're seeing right now and it recently got a fan translation so we're checking it out and it has been a lot of fun so far it's super goofy but it's full of character full of just just fun characters and a, a very like how do i put this odd story I've heard about it, but never seen it. Uh, the other ones are a PC Engine visual novel, so that might be why. This is the only, like, full-on game game, like strategy RPG and other stuff. And the, uh, what's really cool about this game is it'll likely become evident as soon as the next scene pops up, but this is done in collaboration with Red Entertainment, who was responsible for the Sakura Wars series. Now it makes sense that I only gotta be ranked for that. wrong well i just got kidnapped into open space without a suit and been put into a hamster ball and nearly slam dunked into the nearest wormhole also ayako is technically dead <laughs> Wait, that was chapter four? Really? Was that all there was to chapter four? No. I was about to say. Normally chapters are a hell of a lot longer than this. Oh, 
私もそう思うわ And how did the,、uh, the Mario RPG stream go? You're playing the,、uh, the GBA、uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, right? Uh, that's Earth, because you forgot there was a bomb stuck in there. Planet can see. <sighs> this is this is like up there with freeze your buns off and little bitty. Is she from the Mirage planet? Because I can't see her. That, that has to be a reference to Oh My Goddess. They put a bomb inside the princess? What? Please do link up your,、uh, your YouTube channel.、Uh, Thomas has recently started uh, his uh, miniature painting journey over in YouTube, so please do go subscribe to his channel. Hey, you sold that. How's it going? The needs of many and all that. That's going to be a problem.、Um, That's going to be a bit of a problem. Let's see.、Uh, that's probably a good idea. How many range do we have?、Uh, let's put one more in there. Oh, right. We got these two. Hang on. 
I forgot about that. I don't know what Ayako is capable of. I feel like that would would have been her first choice to begin with. I can't save. To the Eternal Princess. Nice. But man, 41 months, that is so long. Goddamn, thank you. If you attack the bombs, you say. So, what you're saying is, I just need to hit everything in the room, right? Yes. Is it though? I mean, that's the real question, isn't it? Do 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 do. And Darkendorf, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm getting super close to 5k. Good lord. Uh, okay, so what do oh, that is impassable? Okay. That's real gun above. Oh no, the bomb is gone. Whatever shall we do? That is probably a lot of experience for a bomb. What can you do? Okay, so close range on that. Fort Spear. Uh, that is range. Attacks all enemies within a range. Manipulate central nerve, ceiling surrounding enemies. Techniques. Discharge. Uh, delivers an electric shock. An AoE paralysis move. I'll, I'll take it. Gladly. She's actually pretty damn strong. But like, can't fire due to being on a ship? That is bullshit. <laughs> that is nonsense and you know it, game. That is nonsense and you know it. likely one over there okay so there's one top left and then there are two center one in the back oh, okay two center it just casually shoves the bottom to the side beautiful what a video game That's not too bad. 
What is your reach? And the arm fan move, right? Yeah. Four turns to detonation. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, this would have been very easy if I had an AoE to just blast everything out of the uh, out of the room, but that's probably why they disabled it. But, you know. <laughs> I might be able to do something here. Uh... Let's see if this actually does something. out of range. This does mean that I can get to use my scatter shot more freely though, so that's a positive. Ooh! Saucy damage. Nice. Good block. Hmm. It's kind of the downside to having Yuri on the party. She is the best heal AoE healer that you can get, but she's also so slow that she attacks uh, that you can use her once every two turns. Which is kind of problematic, as you can imagine. Okay, uh, is there beyond this? Is there something that I can do here that allows me to really rapidly go there and destroy that bomb? True skeleton, get some rest, my dude. You guys have been up for way too long. Get some sleep. And thank you so much for rating us up. Really freaking appreciate it. And thank you everybody from the raid who stuck around. And again, please do go follow up Giga Boots. just been 20 hours <laughs> it's just been 20 hours just <laughs> those are very scary numbers for me okay have <laughs> a good night dude this is gonna be a problem Oh, what the fuck? That is triple the amount of damage. Good lord. That is nuts. Okay. New strat, new strat, new strat. Um, 
I should be able to turn one that if I teleport over there. If I straight up put a character there that has high movement speed. Uh, it's a bit of a bummer though that I can't use my winning strategy. Because my winning strategy is excellent. Uh, I have one teleporter, uh, one like hyper range character. Put you there, uh, put you there, put you there. Yeah, I really should have picked more ranged options for this. That's a weird difficulty spike. And it's completely arbitrary, which I kind of appreciate in a weird way. Like, as long as I can take down this one, I don't have to worry about this side of the battlefield anymore. I can just teleport her around to uh, make sure that I can get to the other bombs as fast as possible. Like, that will be no problem, but... That doesn't take away that it's going to be kind of weird to manage this somehow. That is too bad. Wait, can I? No. Okay, two bombs remaining. I can probably pretty easily do that. Wait, why aren't you destroyed? Let's see how much damage I can take out of this. Nice. And level up, tech up. I'll probably learn a new technique as well. Yeah, nice. Uh, let's see. That's fine. where number three is. That means that I need to... Yeah, gotcha. Iron fan. It is me, your biggest fan. Or turns the detonation. That is all right. That's manageable. The only thing I dislike about these kind of maps is that it becomes really easy at some point to uh, put yourself in a very negative position just simply because you have to take care of the bombs. Like in and of itself, it's not going to be a problem, but it's just something that I don't really like about SRPGs where you have like a large room and the objective is in the other side of the room. Like you don't really get to enjoy the uh, the fight as much. Hello, goodbye. Telephone. I figured you'd go for that. <laughs> I figured you'd go for that. from very reputable sources 
that Worf is currently asleep. And he is being a very good boy. Elegant dance. Okay. Hey, Takeda, how's it going? leveling up quite a bit. Go me! That reminds me, has there been a uh, release date made public for... Uh, uh, the Metal Slug Tactics game. Yeah, I figured that would happen. Please kill it. Thank you. Still not yet. Damn. Let's start hitting her. I'm really curious about that one. Than enough time. What was the third one that you got? Gentle laser. Beautiful. <laughs> See what this does. <laughs> oh, that was so much damage. Holy shit. Ah, one short. Uh, I think I'm just gonna let her. Teleport in there. Teleport! With a little bit of luck because of this positioning. Uh oh. Fly! I think. Okay, that should hit. Yeah. 
81. Nice. Uh, for you. Let's use that elegant dance one more time. Because that did a lot of damage. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, this might be an instant kill. Oh, it's not. Let's see how much damage. I love how every attack just charges up with the sound of gun. <laughs> I think that's the first attack I've seen go over a thousand in this game. Just gonna move her here. Uh, I'm gonna move you here. And do some healing. Two turns to detonation, that's no problem. I do kind of want to see what the gentle laser does. Uh... And level up, because why not? So far, she hasn't done a whole lot of AoE stuff, but that's likely because I got really close really quickly. That's fair. That's fair. She was pretty low level to begin with. Shundo and Chan. Nash. of the six flowers. I'm not quite sure, though. Yeah, I figured that I need to uh, take care of the the bombs first. That's arguably the more important part. Nice. Level up? Nah, of course not. Go, and that should be the finishing shot. There we go. Am I still missing one? Interesting. Oh, because I had to finish the turn. Gotcha. I did it out of order. Nice. That went a lot smoother than the first time.
Would you say she can't see him anymore? Save it up first before we continue. One of the benefits of this game is that it's very easy to just do stuff in because you don't need to buy equipment and stuff. Your character levels and as such they become more powerful and that's basically to be all end all. Wait, so the sisters are the evil emperor? Okay. ま、さしく彼女たちの母なのです。その昔、ケイム<笑> I do need to figure out what I'm going to play after this, though. I should probably also um, make sure that at some point we do the uh, uh, the final chapter of Saga Frontier. There is that, oh, what, what's it called again? The the Alita game on the uh, PS1. We can check that out. Kanojo Okay, 
それが彼女の心に闇をもたらしたのです嫉妬という心の闇を I wonder what the reason is for non showing her face. Must be for some kind of revelation for the plot later. The haunt of darkness. So, who here has、uh, got the opportunity to play Baldur's Gate 3? ここが合国壁古代神話にでも出てきそうなところね。Very Super Nintendo area。ここだけ時が凍りついてしまった。We're about to unleash the Sharingan. Sasuke is about to avenge his clan. Reality has been restored to normal.、Uh, where does that lead? Okay, so there. Let me go from red to two. Do we have the entire roster? Oh, I kind of want to see what he does. No! We haven't picked them up yet. Right? Oh, no, wait. I'm, I'm just not. This is out of order. I can't comprehend anymore. I'm gonna need some good range on this. Mission start. Composer is for this game. So there's some really good jams in there. Didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Although. Ooh, nice. Double level up, I'll be. Slowly 
laser neutron beam. How far does the crystal laser go? It's not a very, very prominent laser, if I'm being honest. Damn it, eh. Gotta appreciate that if you scroll really fast through the menus, the audio just starts glitching out because it loses the buffer. See what this does. Oh, jeez. Starting to get into the big damage category. Good experience. What can I say? Fire! One down. That's two down. <laughs> Three down. Four down. Five down. <laughs> Six down. That's okay. Wait. Look at that Saint Seiya ass character. Look at that Saint Seiya ass character. Why am I relegated to cameo appearances only in the final act? spawn next to her. Yep, thank you. Like it doesn't really matter what I do now, it just literally makes sure that Yuna fires big orbital cannon. What can you do? Uh, Shop increasing defense. counter just immediately Aww.
get the feeling like the game doesn't want me to go through this fast. Although it likely also isn't anticipating that I would or or do an orbital bombardment like three times in a row. funny if this just annihilates everybody on the map because I think it's gonna Jesus <laughs> hey you got a parfait nice and mission clear <laughs> All it took was three scoops of ice cream. Easy peasy. And before Sasuke actually just kind of drops out. Oh no, it's zero. It's, it's going to be one of the generals, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's them. But it's actually the two of them. That's that's it. They just ju just get like the bombs in. <laughs> Okay, so the six flowers are done. Yo! That's gonna be interesting. Bet they're just gonna run away at half HP again. They've done that like three times already. It's pretty funny. That was on me. Ayako-chan, 
ぶん私を信用してお姉さんたち必ず連れて帰ってくるから。Hey, Feli, how's it going? How's the, uh, how's the streaming been? It do be like that sometimes. Hopefully, they're good kind of getting in the way, though. This is gonna be interesting if it's a two on two, because Yuna has some. Pretty powerful abilities available to her, but there is also the chance that um, that they're gonna push like a bullshit button or two. Uh, let's save though. It's not gonna be a good idea to not save in this moment. I think things are getting worked out now. That's good to hear. It's been way too long since I've had the chance to hang out in your stream. What have you been playing recently? To ruin and beyond. Love that loading screen. So good. So charming. <laughs> Looking to do a replay of Star Ocean 2 for the remake of Ice. Nice. I am very excited for the remake of Star Ocean. I'll gladly pay any uh, play anything that has the Star Ocean name attached to it. Such a cursed line, god damn it. <laughs> My Kokoro will save the world with Doki Doki. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh man. I am in physical pain because of that sentence. Chance myself to be in Zelda Link to the Past in one sitting and ended up finishing in around four and a half hours. Nice! Well, I guess we're doing orbital bombardments. This game is gonna be like, yeah, nah, you can't do that because, uh, I don't fucking know.
Okay, let's see what this does. finish the fight in one attack just because I got one of them to half. <laughs> I think there is a fan, tra a fan translation of uh, one of the Slayer's games. Let's see, uh, that's Dragon Slayer, that's something else. I do need to play through those, though. Unfortunately not, but the RPG uh, on the Super Nintendo did get translated. Kyoka, you just rejected the concept of sister. Something about calling it <laughs> on pushing the bullshit button. It's fine though. Wonder if she still has half HP. Ooh, interesting. think this is going to go exactly the way you think it's going to go, but, you know. I wonder if she's still at half HP. Uh, can I check that? Where's she at? Uh... What can you do? Prepare some repeated attacks with power set to surpass that of a god. Okay, fair enough. I understand. Um, I, I really just need Yuna to get a turn. That's 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 all I'm asking. That is mean. I am so glad I didn't Mirage Cannon the first time. That would have been such a cheap shot to my uh, EP. I'm just gonna keep doing this until you're all dead, so just just so you're aware. I just will get it over quickly.
but ultimately inconsequential. Goodbye. I'm <laughs> not going to put a single character next to all of that. <laughs> coming in uh... oh yeah okay I understand so those little lads should go first they should be the first to get utterly obliterated gotcha Is there a way to do that safely, though? Well, there is to a degree. Uh, let's see. Luckily, that heal is single target. Alright, let's see. It doesn't really harm the med bots, which is a kind of a problem. But on the other hand, now. I think I should be able to topple it with the, with the staff. Nice. And the level up, that's always good. And the new skill, I'm always down for that. Okay, that's okay. That's a pretty cool attack. <laughs> yeah. Anyone died? Not yet. Give them a secondary target. Oh, hello.
And how's it going, Purple Rhino? That's Mirage Cannon. Sorry if you guys can hear barking in the background. That should do at least all the support in. There you go. That's one. Almost. It's two. Three. I'll take it. that do like a full-on heal isn't it yeah okay so the charge bots are going to be a bit of a problem or the healer bots they're going to be a bit of a problem they're going to take some work but i'm honestly not sure if they they are capable of Like healing themselves. Oh, well, they might in certain configurations, I guess. A mysterious wave. Oh no. Hello. Some quick leveling there. <laughs> Good lord. I'm actually really curious. Retaliation? No. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oof. Oh, it only hits one. Should have tried the other move. See where we get teleported to. This is fine. see if this gives me some experience to level up with. No. Fuck. Uh, let's move her in there. Yeah. Ooh, nice. This is fine. How are you doing?
that's fine. I'll take it. Oh, please do. Oh shit, no, that makes everybody confused. Really? This is the way this is going to go? Oh, that's not too bad. Eat the cake. They can self repair as well. I've never seen them do actually do that. How much? Ooh, okay, that's a scary amount. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, you have. Uh, been woken from a slumber of a couple of thousand years. Have a good night. sleep for, uh, for a thousand years I'd become a villain too I mean it's a good power nap that's one thing that's for sure uh, let's move her over there Don't confuse her. Nice. Why are you confused like 10 turns longer? It makes no sense, Ayako. It makes no freaking sense. There you go, finally. Almost. I got those at least. See if we can get some uh, actual experience from this. Oh, 
Right, she's still sealed. Ah. Uh, they're just kind of healing each other. Like, their employers are right there, but, you know. This is fine. The pots aren't a dollar, we are in a dime. That's why we heal each other in company time. That's fair. <laughs> Good scream. Got a cookie. Nice. I like a cookie. Please don't kill. That would really suck. Uh, can I go move into range? Yes. Oh, damn it. That was a bad idea. Uh, let's move Yuna back. They really are the best of friends. That's adorable. Ooh, oops. Thank you all for being here. Really freaking appreciate it. I know this is not my normal, like, stream time, day, even. So I really appreciate y'all hanging out. Thank you. Charge that life. Oh, good distraction, though. smooth as I wanted it to be, but I'll take it. I'll happily take it.
なぜと我々は敵なのだぞだって怪我してるんだもん放っておけないよ<笑>光も救世主かさ早くあっえっ<笑>ガーデン Yeah, they're dead, dead now. Like, those、uh, machine people have like a core which basically holds their entire being, so they can't be repaired as long as the core is so operational. Oh, that, that was brutal. <laughs> like, every once in a while, the game just kind of blindsides a little like that. コーテの呪縛を断ち切ったのよでもでも結局私は何もできなかった助けることもユナそんなに自分を責めないで I forgot that one of them was just a car To be fair, Paishang is a snail. So there's, there's that. At least no horse yet. That, that is a statement with a very threatening aura. Close to the end, aren't we? Uh, let's see what our supply is saying right now because I do need to、uh, maybe get a few more support items. Uh, 
no, so nothing. How many of those 300 EPs do I have? Nine remaining. Four kings and a mass to me, that stuff gave me for tonight. Fair enough. <laughs> I think the only reason I beat it was because I, at some point, accidentally figured out that a dexterity build with a dex-based weapon was pretty powerful. Okay, so that's likely the extra planet that you can go to. Man, I really like this game. I really like this game. Before we're never ending storying this. What's that never ending story with the uh, sphinxes that turn people to salt? We have to split up. Oh no, our plan is thwarted by extensive renovation. <laughs> oh god, they changed the, changed the bathroom. This brand new toilet has to be day. So different from our time. I'm going to miss that loading screen. Might be a fun thing to try with like the uh, transition stingers from uh, from like scenes. If I scene swap instead of using a uh, like a filter, just get like a loading screen in. Then swiftly. Oh, is this is this going to be like a puzzle fight? Place the corresponding characters on the plates and turn off the security device. Corresponding. life is heavier than any others. Oh, okay. Disabled security devices where you may have the person top them are an error.
我ら3人残りのプレートはユナの最後のプレートには他の方々I feel like he is in the correct position, though. Gotta. Get back to Paishan. Leader with the outsiders. Okay, yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm I'm a little smarter than I thought. <laughs> Though didn't click until the moment that he uh, basically went like, "Oh yeah, all three the machines on different blades." I saw through your plans before you even made them. I know what you had for breakfast tomorrow. Yeah, there's like seven characters at least that do that. It's pretty great, not gonna lie. I really like it. That's a good design as well. You gotta appreciate those extremely descriptive nani moments where like oh it's the the heavenly general of the fourth division of fifteen thousand years ago that has tormented the armies of the intergalactic emperor on their mission to convert the Delta Quadrant. I really like those descriptors. A surprise black hole? Oh no. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> it sucks to be you, buddy. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Another black hole. <laughs> because, yes. Ah, what a what a video game. What a good video game. Yeah, 
Oh, jeez. We're getting cutscene chat. Oh. Fool <laughs> me once? Shame on me. Fool me twice? Kinda to be expected. Fool me three times. That becomes a bit of a problem. <laughs> Why didn't they do this in the first place? I don't know. Rock was bound to break. We're recreating the uh, first Super Saiyan moment. That... Does that spider bot have a boner? I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> I think I just got a massive stat boost, but I'm not too sure. How much? Level 23, 514. Oh, easy peasy. What do you mean, Supernova? This immediately does like 500 damage. Oh. Allow me to move behind you. and cutscene as Supernova cats. I mean, that's how it works, right?
If she's gonna yell, it's the power of friendship, baby. I am, I am not even gonna be surprised. just normally attack. How much damage does that do? Well, it all does kind of like the same. If you would have just been one tile to the right, I could have couldn't have gotten to your back. This fight is very cinematic, chat. Pull a gun. Hey, Gaijin, how's it going? Nobody's immune to the power of gun. When all else fails, gun. That would have been a real funny roll credits, though. <laughs> Just the villain speech about like how 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 she's all alone in the universe and there's like this breakdown she goes all ballistic on everyone and just kills the final boss and just everybody just hovers in like yeah we got a lift from the nearest planet <laughs> roll credits <laughs> I was kidding about that. <laughs> I was kidding about hitching a ride. <laughs> also, she just happened to be there on the edge of space. <laughs> Oh, I love video games. <laughs> Just happened to be on the way. <laughs> the power of friendship of Princess Mirage right there. <laughs> this is the most plot convenience I have ever been plot convenienced. Not gonna lie. <laughs> video games. Just a quick second, gotta assist. Sorry about that, I had to deal with a uh, pretty <laughs> massive wasp. It's upset now. Oh, 
What do you mean, unable to fetch a Calum point? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is Twitch doing? Of justice bringing evil down. Uh, now I want to rewatch Mystic Knights of Terminog. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Did they fuse? <laughs> oh, this game is kind of silly. I like it. that for Monday, Chad, if that is okay. Because I think Twitch is just about falling apart. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting errors across the board. So I'm, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the finale of uh, Galaxy Fräulein Yuna on uh on monday and then we're gonna pick it up from there hopefully i'll uh had a good time thank you so much for being here really freaking replace uh replace i read replace and my brain is so tired that i immediately speak it out loud um but thank you so much for being here really freaking appreciate it hopefully you all had fun a massive massive shout out the Giga Boots, thank you so much for the raid and uh, to Loin and Giga Boots for the subs. Really appreciate the continued support, my dudes, and thank you all so much for being here. If you're new to the stream and had a good time, do consider hitting the follow button. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll hopefully see you all on Monday. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you want to join our Discord, there is a link to the. Where did the Discord go? Wait, what? Wait, how? I did not change a thing on the bot. There it is. There it is. <laughs> uh, Twitch is having a bit of a Twitch. <laughs> but yeah, do be sure to join Discord if you enjoy hanging out with this community. I also have a YouTube channel where I post separate content, uh, video essays, and the like. Uh, the VOD channel is the uh, the other one on the YouTube link that you see right there. And as well as Tanuki Chicken Attack being the place for all the written reviews, uh, the review for Galaxy Fräulein Yuna is going to be up there as well. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. I'm going to see if I can uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh... I am gonna send you all over to Verity. 
explain some Baldur's Gate 3 if you want to remain spoiler free. I do wholeheartedly understand that. Uh, but I'm going to send you guys over there anyway. So, oh, this is your first and final warning. Thank you all so much for being here. Again, please do go follow up Gigaboots. They're fantastic. And thank you again for all the support. Much love. Really freaking appreciate it. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And hopefully see you all on Monday. And until that moment arrives, stay beautiful. Keep on gaming, my dudes. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.